Hi guys, it's the RPG Brit here, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. Um, so I'm actually doing a, a builder game that I've I've looked at for a little while. I've not really seen much detail about it, but I, I've liked the look of it. Um, and I know I know it's actually an old PC game, um, or at least it was a really old one, but this is a newer one. And I am going to be playing this on the, the PlayStation 5. Um, but it is, as you can see, uh, Space Space Startopia. Um so let's uh let's start the campaign. Um I'm guessing these are difficulties. Uh I'll just leave it as uh commander, the one in the middle. Confirm. It all began with a misunderstanding. When the Telgorian fleet first encountered a representative of the Neophytic Alliance, they sent a bouquet of their most beautiful native flowers as their usual greeting. Okay. The only problem, the extremely <laughs> nature-loving dryads took the bouquet of dead flowers as a declaration of war. This encounter marked the beginning of the first major interspecies conflict in the Alma Barad Quadrant. It lasted for approximately 400 years. All because of a misunderstanding. Races, awesome. Have access to FTL technology at that time and their weapons technology can generally be regarded as primitive. The armed conflict was often limited to threats, verbal attacks, and illegal littering. Oh. So I don't think they actually fought physically. The production of the Universal Translator developed by the RFS Consortium helped to settle the conflict and led to peace talks being initiated. Also, additional potential grounds for conflict, such as Eurifer's Great Dolphin Barbecue. Huh. The Celebramer's gigantic space loudspeakers and other trivialities to also be nipped in the bud. So much for history, recruit. Let's get back to your real job here at the RFS Consortium's Tear Test Lab. This lab is not only designed to house a highly sophisticated artificial intelligence called Val, which would be me, in case you've forgotten that in the last few minutes, as my brain scan <laughs> suggests, but is also responsible for the Startopia project. The goal of Startopia is to create multipurpose space bases capable of being used by all alien species as places of encounter and exchange. And, of course, to earn a huge amount of energy to cover the exorbitant salaries of the RFS board. Of course, yeah. Recruit, you have been selected to work in the Startopia Bay Simulator, or SBS for short, to acquire the knowledge necessary to run such a Startopia base. But before you can do so, you must go through the RFS Executive Motivation Training Course. You can do it. You're a born leader. We believe in you. <laughs> Panthers, congratulations. You have successfully completed the commander training course and are now entitled to what? take the final exam on the simulator. Good luck, commander. Okay, Welcome so now it's just a simulator. Scenario, commander. I'm very curious to see how you will cope. This simulation includes a Startopia base orbiting the garbage planet Sarkar. A, and I quote from the Universal Database, disgusting cesspit that should find its deserved <laughs> end in a black hole. The goal of this scenario is to generate energy by recycling garbage. There are only a few basic buildings available and space is limited. You will mainly, or more precisely, exclusively, come into contact with Telgor and bugs. Expect visitors to leave a lot of garbage lying around. I don't think I need to go into any more detail. According to the scenario guidelines, it is impossible to fail. However, I would like to add that carbon-based life forms have always surprised me in this respect. Very well, Commander, you may proceed. As an old Gononian folk saying goes, every being is the wash quantang of their own fortune. An ancient skilled trade in which bricks are formed from one's own excrement. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm loving the robot already. That proper, like, sarcastic, um, snarky robot is great. So I was just looking up here while that, while that was um, talking. So we've got trophies, um, which is just complete the mission, Garbage Empire. Uh, and 222 positive ratings in the Garbage Empire mission. I don't really know what that means. Uh, and complete the mission under 15 minutes. Okay. New rooms in life form. Uh, we've got the Telgor and the Bug. The Telgor works in the recycling station. Bugathorians 
work in the communica communication center. We've got a recycling station, communication center, a berth. We can satisfy the needs. Sleep, food, thirst, and hygiene. Okay. Um, and fuzzy charging stations. Charge your fuzzies. Again, I have no idea what fuzzies are, but... Initiate welcome protocol. Let's see. Welcome, Commander. I am confident that even a carbon-based life form will be able to cope with the very manageable parameters of the scenario. After all, it's all about collecting garbage. A fuzzy with only limited functionality previously solved this scenario in less than 20 minutes. I therefore assume that you will be able to complete it within a few hours. Test subject evaluation started. Command R, commence operations. Right, well these are our fuzzies. Got a lot of garbage about. Is it gonna, so... Okay, first step, earn energy through recycler. Um, I'm guessing these are... Our oh, visitors? I don't know. These are the bugs and those, okay. Right, so... I have no idea what I'm doing, straight away. Um, let's have a look. Uh, so we've got speed. Is that the speed? Yeah, so let's slow it right down just so that I can sort of get a grasp of what I'm doing. Um, right, construction menu, berth. So that's the one where they um, it solves their needs. Fuzzy charging station. Charges the fuzzes, which are those little robots. Uh, communication centre and a recycling station. Well, I think we need the recycling station um, pretty quickly. Also, we've got garbage bot. Uh, so, cleaning fuzzies throw garbage into the garbage bot. Once it's full, it makes its way to the recycling station. Sometimes aliens are decent enough to actually throw their garbage into the garbage bot too. Okay, so that's like a bin, I'm guessing. But then once it's full, it goes to the recycling centre. Atmosphere filter. Cleans the surrounding air, provides O2, um, or sorry, provides oxygen but uses uses O2. I don't know. Um, activation car. Okay, that's fine. I'm guessing these are like just miscellaneous stuff, like decorative stuff. Um, all right, cool. Well, I'm going to see if I can do a recycling station then. So we've got. I like that how it's curved like this. It's very cool. Um, let's put this right up in this top corner. There you go. So I'm guessing the fuzzies wherever they've gone. Oh, I can rotate it. Okay, that's cool. What's this? No, I don't think that's. I don't know what that is. Airlock, okay. And that's a tube lift to go up on top of the floors, I'm guessing. Right. Um, okay, right, now let's do this. Okay, so these are the people that we've currently got. Um, we're going to need them to build that, though. So let's, let's actually speed that up. I'm guessing these fuzzies are basically like our workers. Yeah, construction fuzzy. Okay. Uh, so let's do that. We might as well build a couple of these bins as well. Excellent, Commander. You've managed to build a recycling station. Remember that semi-functional fuzzy I told you about at the beginning? Well, it had already completed all of the other test scenarios in the time you needed. But I think it's a rather tough comparison because it was limited in functionality and you... Commander, you have just oh. successfully built your first garbage bot. A thing that one tries to fill with other things, but which reaches its maximum capacity much too quickly. Wait, are we talking about you and your training here? Excuse me, my routine small talk subprocessor seems to be malfunctioning. I can actually pick these up. How do I put them in? No. All right, let's see if we can hire some of these guys. Um, so it's these ones that work there, isn't it? 
Right, so, which ones do I pick? Um, I'm guessing maybe the four that say that they're happy. <laughs> or the ones with experience, maybe. I don't know what all of these actually mean. Okay, okay, this is it. So, name, satisfaction, needs, okay. Energy. An alien skill indicates how well it does its work. Will not operate without Dedication. Tabor. Please try to show at least a minimum of competence and get it taken care of. <laughs> right, well, I'm going to get some of these ones with high skill then. So, let's get that, that. And we'll get some of these with high dedication as well. Um, was it just four? Oh, they're wandering over there now. So does that add them then? Let's have a look. Ah, oh, there you go, yeah. Okay, cool. But I've got this rubbish, so how do I dump this rubbish in here, though? Oh, looks like they're going to work as well. What's this modification? Garbage bot modification. Commander, I have here two absurd designs to permanently improve the garbage bot. I've decided to let you choose. Okay, bite and garbage bot. Garbage bots eat 50% of the garbage deposited within them, which is uh, equivalent to recycling. Garbage bot, 5% chance of exploding and scattering garbage. Okay. Garbage bot capacity plus 100% garbage bot. Uh, of moving 10% faster, well, I guess that one. A most experimental choice, Commander. That one sounds better. But how do I get this rubbish in here, though? Ah. There we go. Okay, cool. Right. And what are these down here? No, that's not what I want. Select an object in your master storage. Ah, I've literally just figured that out. Okay. Cool, right, well that is uh, doing its thing. Let's have a look what else we've got then. So, probably good to get this birth thing. Um, oh wow, we've got loads of different blueprints. Right, 7 by 7, 9 by 8, I'm guessing they're getting bigger, yeah. And 12 by 12. Oh, what's this one? Free construction. Ah, maybe we'll do a free construction. Let's see. No. I thought I had to hold it, which I did not. Once I get used to controls, it will be a lot smoother, I promise. Um, maybe i do this all the way across to here. Yeah, let's do that so it's nice and square. Um... Oh, this is the queue to get in. Look at that. The arrows, because this is the door now. That's cool. I'll put the door here. And you can put... Oh, okay, you can put another door. Um, or do you have to put another door? Well, I've got two doors anyway. Um... How do I select another item? Okay. Let's have to go back and select it. Okay, right, so we've got some more garbage bots in there, which I can add at some point. Status chamber, I need to sleep, um, drink, food, and hygiene. Okay. Well, let's get a couple. Oh, they're quite big. Looks like these have to go against the wall. Let's do a couple of them. Hygiene. These are fairly big as well. I might actually need a bigger room, maybe. Oh, these are quite small. That's good. So let's... Uh, how do we rotate? There we go. Put one there. Maybe a couple of... Oh. And we'll put 
one more of these just so we've got the same amount of each thing. And then if I then there's a little bit of space here, which maybe if I need to, I can put more stuff. But I am going to put rubbish in there as well. There we go. Right, and now I need to. This major allows you to deconstruct, and no, that's fine. We'll just confirm that one. Okay, cool. I don't know what these icons mean either. I'll be getting quite a lot of people. That's cool. Although, are all these people left here now? They have. Maybe. Oh, it's because they, I wonder if it's because they've got needs. Yeah, there you go. Wow, so that's. I'm going to hire some more then. Um, so there's some that will. Congratulations on your birth, Commander. In all test scenarios to date, in the established standard procedures and in the Starbases for Underachievers manual, it is actually built before anything else as the base room. I can already see convention and traditions are not your thing. <laughs> I'll make a note of that in your personnel file just in case. Fair enough. Right, but yeah, I'm going to hire some more of these because it looks like when they need a break, it's, it's pretty quickly. Right, so let's just fuzzy, not fuzzies, Telgors, and then let's hire some of these. So it's not the easiest <laughs> to uh, navigate. Um, Right, so I've got these ones that have got the the fire, oh, which makes sense, I suppose. Uh, let's get some more that have got Commander, two. You still haven't installed an atmosphere filter. According to my records, carbon-based life forms are dependent on a reasonably pure atmosphere. It is therefore imperative that you construct such an object at once. Oh, wow. I'm guessing that red is how bad it is. Right, let's put one of these. Put one here and put one on the other side here. I've already got quite a big queue to get in here. Maybe I do need to add some more stuff to it then. Um, Commander, I would like to congratulate you on the 50th visitor to your simulated station. If this were reality rather than a test scenario, the time frame would be rather unacceptable. Here, <laughs> however, you are working within a simulation under optimal conditions. So the time frame is completely unacceptable. I don't think I can really fit more in. It might be better just using the uh, the preset blueprints maybe until I'm a little bit more used to it. But let's do that. Leaky visitors. Excuse me, Commander, but I have a feeling that there is a problem with a particular alien species in the simulation. If you could take a quick look at this. Weak bladdered um, bugs. Um, bugs, 5% chance of creating garbage every 60 seconds. This production of garbage satisfies the needs for hygiene. So they just go on the floor. Uh, or tell you 5% chance of creating garbage every 60 seconds. Ah, so it's the same. Um, An interesting let's do the bug choice, Commander. I would advise you to keep an eye on Bugrothorian visitors, and maybe keep a mop ready, just in case. <laughs> keep a mop ready. Awesome. Well, luckily, it looks like they go through this pretty quickly. Um, okay, right. What else can we do then? We've got 18,000 energy, I'm guessing that is. Communications. See so transmission from far reach of space. I actually know what that does. Uh, probably need a fuzzy According charging station. Surveys, visitors find Startopia quite acceptable overall. Let's put this down there, though. Maybe even another one next to it. There we go. So, yeah, I need to learn what all of these... Can I select it? Anger, 100%. Oh, dear. Yes, this has not gone well. <clears throat> but I'm still getting used to it. Um, see, the queue's gone down a bit. Now that I've added those two extra toilets, at least. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. It's like a... It's like a... Um, a car wash. Oh, 
it's good that they automatically have space to go round. Um, that was one thing I was wondering when I put them down because there's an arrow going in there and out there. But they do they do just walk around, so that's fine. I want to actually have a look at some of these stuff because these are quite fun. Okay, and that's the these are the stasis chambers for sleeping. Oh, it's fuzzy to clean up some rubbish. More garbage there. Amateur filter, Commander, I have two full hardly downgrades. Okay. Um, Amateur filter has 5% chance every 60 seconds of triggering a disturbance that deals damage. Let's not do that. amount of energy. You did it with the birth and not the recycling station, but at least it's something. I hope you realize this, of course, does not terminate we'll do the test scenario. It was just a gentle hint designed to give you an idea of my estimation of your abilities. Interesting, Commander. However, I do not want to hear any complaints about this later. Well, can I get some garbage bots? How do we do this? Um... So these are the fuzzies. So they're in just automatic mode at the moment. Um, packs this fuzzy into a crate. So there's, there's options to upgrade them, but I don't think I can yet then. Let's turn that off. We can literally... Okay. Construction, create. I don't know what the difference between those two are. And cleaning fuzzies. We'll leave it as automatic for now. I mean, they should really be collecting this rubbish, which I don't know why they're not. Well, there's a lot of rubbish in there. I'll just do it manually for now. God, they're just creating more and more and more. Oh, there's the um, garbage bot. That's cool. Commander, fanatics from the terrorist organization Trash Beast have discovered a subatomic quantum loophole in our shield. Recycle bombs. Garbage bombs on board. If they explode, they will cause damage and spread garbage throughout the area. But you can rest easy in the knowledge that it can't harm me. Initiate bomb sub protocol alpha. Commander, recycling the garbage bombs is an excellent idea. Okay, cool. Only 99.3% of all other candidates came up with this solution. Only. I suggest you try recycling a larger amount of these garbage bombs in order to make the test scenario more exciting. God, there's a lot of rubbish. I don't know how to get some more... Um... Some more garbage bots. Not uh, not garbage bots, um fuzzies. They'll actually go and pick up the garbage. Cool, well that's doing its thing now. I think maybe I need another one of these. And maybe I'll go with one of the preset ones. Right, what are these saying though? Unable to perform inspection. And it's kind of expected to discontinue its inspection after he was unable to find any matching rooms. Uh, what was he wanting? Huh. Well, he didn't shut any rooms down, so at least that's good. There's still so much rubbish here. See, that's cleaning up, but are there still stuff? Yeah, there's still ones just down here doing nothing. Hmm. Right. Let's just build something. Let's get another berth, and let's just go for a big one. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, let's just do that. So if we know how efficient ones look, then maybe we'll be able to design some more in the future. Um, right. And I want to do the communication center as well. At least that's a bit smaller. That's good. Rapid recycling center. Recycler, no more atmospheric pollution. Recycler, 25 times that no energy would be produced. Or high speed. Uh, high speed. Recycling station, recycling interval plus 100%. Recycling station, 25% chance of producing twice as much bad atmosphere. Well, let's do that. Look out, Commander. Trash fanatics have thrown bombs at the station. Oh, more bombs. There's one. There's one. Luckily, you can see them quite well. Can't see anymore. Commander, Commander, you've already recycled half of the garbage bombs you need. Keep up nice. the good work. Thanks to your performance so far, my evaluation processor has already upgraded you to Shniashanu, an 8 hub slot native to the planet Photos 5. The following measures can be taken to solve this problem. Pick the garbage yourself, okay? Build, buy more fuzzies. How do I do that, though? These collect garbage, but however, they also have other duties and may be overworked. You can build either fuzzies in the factory or buy them from the Val shop or the traders. Build more garbage bots, just minimize his travel. Okay, well, I'm probably going to do that now. Commander, you've already generated a third of the energy required for the test scenario. Perfect, I'm flying through now. I admit I did not expect you to reach this level. Excellent work, Commander. I see you've managed to build a communication center. I mean, you created a simple construction order for your fuzzies, and then they did all the work. So these are the bug ones, aren't they? Not found. Bravo. So let's look about getting some of these. Commander, I wanted to point out to you that with your energy or prestige, you can buy very interesting things from my experimental laboratory, or as my naming algorithm calls it, the Val Shop. You should don't definitely take a look at them. I don't know where the vowel shop is. I'm not gonna lie. Is it one of these? No, this is just a help. Construction menu, units, rooms, vowel shop. Uh, judging by the recruits so far, you would you would reach a goal, assuming that you have all the time in the world to make this test scenario a bit more exciting. I took the liberty of changing one or two parameters. Regular garbage needs twice the space in the recycling centre. Okay. 50% chance, 10% more energy. Everything other than garbage generates 100% uh, additional energy while recycling. I'm going to do that one. Interesting choice, Commander. I'm curious to see how you will handle it. Oxygen bomb. <laughs> Commander, more garbage bombs have been smuggled onto Startopia. I don't know how to. Oh. Whew, that's close. Um, right, so I've just bought this. Recycles all garbage in the area of effect. Ah, oh, okay. Right. Commander, you've thrown another gar Commander, trash fanatics have managed to successfully detonate a garbage bomb on your station. Maybe next time you should collect and dispose of them instead of watching them Damn explode. It. I didn't watch it explode. Okay, right, so, we've got people working there, which is fine, the volume's quite high, deconstruct, edit, repair, is at 94%, so that's not too bad, um, that's fine, I don't really know what this does, I'm not going to lie.
I've got it Commander, anyway. You have now acquired two thirds of the necessary energy. Extrapolating from your previous results, I can safely put my subprocessors on standby for the next few million cycles. Okay, so as she says here, the communication, um, the communication center enables you to receive signals from outer space. This can lead to special opportunities. In addition, in addition, trained personnel will give you more advanced warning if inconveniences such as customs officers or pirates are heading your way. The higher your combined skill value of your employees, the earlier or even more likely you are to be informed of events. Although the communication center value may not be immediately apparent, rest assured that this room is extremely valu valuable. Excuse me. Okay. So it is definitely worth having that. Right. One thing I did want to check, actually, is the air again. Um, so it's not there. Here we go. Okay, so back here it's a little bit bad, so let me pop one there. I am also want to do a couple of these. So let's do one Let's do one outside of here, because there always seems to be a lot of rubbish accumulating in these places, and that's pretty much what we've got time, what we've got space for now. Yeah, I mean look how look how efficient this one is. I might just use the templates one a lot more than doing my own. Right. Commander, more garbage bombs have been smuggled oh dear. in Startopia. Nice. Um Commander, you have successfully completed the recycled garbage bomb supplementary mission. I think you deserve a reward for that. Can you feel that? You are feeling a slight <laughs> of endorphins and cortisol. That's right my reward. Now, which should feel approximately the same as a clammy handshake. A clammy handshake, fantastic. Garbage bomb into the recycling station. What are these things up in the top left, though? I'm guessing that that's how big a station can be. Right, what's he saying? Congratulations, Commander. You have successfully achieved the goal and generated the required amount of energy. Some awesome. doubted your success, while others objected that you could not fail in this test scenario. I replied that if there is a way to fail in this scenario, you will find it. <laughs> Nevertheless, you have successfully completed this scenario. Congratulations, Commander. Well, there you go. Well, that was that done. Okay, so 26 minutes. I meant to do it in 15, but I was getting used to it. Um, obviously, if I'd done that again, I could do it much, much better. But, but yes, I mean, that's the first mission. Quite, quite a nice quick one. Um, liked it i'm still getting used to it as well as you could probably tell used to the navigation and stuff these types of games i always feel are better on the pc like more suited because just because of navigation because you've got the mouse and things like that with a with a controller it can get a little bit clunky but once you're used to it then it shouldn't be a problem but but not very much like that um 81 percent of my people were happy when they left as well um so yeah, no, I thought I thought that was that was quite good to be honest. Um, cool. So I'm going to end this video here. I'm going to try and keep the videos as one per mission, um, unless they they're obviously a lot longer. Um, but but yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you very much, and take care.